Good morning, loud and proud fam. What is happening? I'm actually in the car with my mother right now. We're gonna be running to the bank. I need to open up some more accounts because I'm rich. I'm kidding. Anyways, guys, I need to open up some more bank accounts because being self-employed, you have to pay taxes on all that money. So I need to open up accounts designated to certain funds and stuff like that to make sure that I'm taken care of. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Other than that today, I'm not entirely sure what's gonna be going on. All I know is that I've got some stuff that I'd like to do. So we're gonna see if we can get around to it. Okay, fam, so here's what we got going on. What? 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 Why was that buzzing? Okay, so... What the freak? That just happened, bro. There must be another buzzer. It's possessed, guys. The buzzer is forever ringing within the cab of this truck. At least it didn't last very long. At least the door buzzer isn't on. Let's give the old girl a start up. She's a little chilled. She's a little chilled to the bone. It was it got down to the 40s last night, man. Here in Indiana, it got got down in the 40s. So that's a that was a chilly one for up here for what we've had recently. So I'm gonna run her at 1,000 RPMs here for a little bit. So let's turn these on really quick. Okay. If you guys are stopping in for the first time on the channel, first off, welcome. But the second thing I would like to say, because I know there's gonna be a lot of people asking questions, and uh, since you guys are amazing, I wanna answer this for you right now. If you see anything on or in my truck that you um, just so dearly love, or you see that you like, for example, fortune tow mirrors, my gauges, my head unit, my speakers and my door, which you're not gonna see, but I'm just gonna let you know that they're there. My headlights, my taillights, my third brake light, my front bumper, my rear bumper, my leveling kit, my wheels, my tires, my exhaust tip, my shocks, everything on my truck. There is a modification list down in the description below for both the trucks, all the trucks actually, and you can go and order anything you see on any of these trucks that you like, there's probably gonna be a link for and if there's not, definitely let me know. We're gonna get started here. I think I gotta go buy some connective things, so I'm gonna go do that, and then I might also have to pick up some wire. Prius, Prius, Prius. Okay, got the autos in here. Just wanna show you guys really quick. There's this third gen that's always here. It's a freaking dope truck. Look at this. It's freaking dope. Anyways, I'm gonna get in here, grab my stuff, and I'm gonna get right back out here with y'all. Y'all ever just have one of those days where you just feel like good, like you were just feeling yourself, just energetic and excited? Today seems like one of those days. I just feel hyped. I don't know if it's because like I got up extra early today, whatever the deal might be, but uh, I just feel good right now. I got some 14 gauge wire. This is what the guy said he would probably recommend to tap the turning signal from the, I just give it away. Truck is getting new tow mirrors. I just exposed myself. Anyways, you're gonna find out regardless. We're gonna tap into the turning signal to get some turning signal, of course, to the mirror. And uh, we're going to need these connectors here to get to that as well to connect the power. That's what's hiding in the box back there, which probably isn't the best place for it because uh, it'd be easily taken out. What I'm thinking right now is getting some lunch. And I think there's I think there's a Wendy's in its natural habitat hiding right back over there. I'm gonna get over there, get a little bit of food, head back to the house and get right into these mirrors. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. This guy, super nice guy. Look at this truck. Dude, dope, dope. I don't know if you're ever gonna see this video, but dude, you did it good with that truck. It looks sick, so great looking third gen. Um, he's like, I would love to get into a second gen. The only problem is people are asking so much for him anymore for a good 12 valve or 20, you know, even a good running 24 valve. He's like, it's cheaper for me to just buy a third gen, you know what I mean? With the mileage that's on his, than it would be to try to buy a good condition second gen so that's what he did i wouldn't mind getting a third gen too but it seems like everybody wants the second gens i don't know why it just seems like they're getting really popular and people are really trying to buy them up so i'm probably gonna stick with this truck for quite some time maybe buy another truck but uh probably not sell this one for quite some time i would, I would say there's a fourth gen coming sitting at wendy's i'm seeing cummins all over the place today like like we know, like I do not see Cummins trucks around here often, but I'm just spotting them left and right right now. I don't get out much, guys. I really don't get out much. The only times I get out is when I'm buying parts for my trucks or something like that, or getting fuel. So uh, other than that, but man, good looking truck. It is a beautiful day here in Indiana, boys and girls, because I know there are some ladies watching. Thank you, by the way. I'm probably gonna pull the front end of this good old 7.3 here into the barn. And I was just talking to somebody yesterday and they were saying that, uh, it can be a pain in the butt to wire up these turning signals to the truck. I went to the store ahead of time. Like I said, I got the wire, the connectors, so that I can get right into this project and should not have too many uh, problems to run into. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what all is gonna have to, what all this is gonna entail, 
but I don't think it'll be too difficult. So I'm not gonna speak too soon though. It could be, but I'm hoping it's not. Um, I'm gonna get the truck pulled in, and then I'm gonna have my lunch and then get right into this. I'm gonna hear the 7.3 start up compared to the 5.9 right there, that beautiful beast. Here we go, totally different, totally different startup. <laughs> she was struggling a little bit there. A little bit there, she was struggling. But you know what, this truck, I must say, it has gotten through some very, very tough times. And before we had Cummins diesels in the picture, where we get spoiled with pretty quick startups without really any strain, for the most part. I mean, can't speak before winter, but all I can tell you is this truck, even, even in the coldest winters, it can be a dog to start up some days, but it's always started up. So I do appreciate this truck for that sense of always up and go. I mean, my grandfather had a 5.9, a 12 valve in the first gen, and he said that that thing, he never, never one time plugged that truck in, ever. At work, at home, nothing, never plugged it in, always started up. And they, he said they've had some nasty winters, nothing, always fired off, every single time. And he did not go through batteries often ever either, so very impressive, very impressive. Well, I'm gonna get to taking off the door panels, the mirrors, all that stuff, right back to you guys, as soon as I start to have everything figured out. Hey guys, we're gonna get our first look at these mirrors, now that we're halfway through with the project. By the way, links to this product will be in the description below. You guys should definitely go check them out if you like the look and if it appeals to you. A lot of suction there. Very well packaged. Oh, there they are. There they are. Now, I hope they all line up just fine. They should. It looks like it will. But uh, it's got this wiring harness on it, which is just a standard one. But it's also got this, which is an adapter because this does have capability of turning signals that are obviously built into the mirror. If you don't tap into those, then you're not going to get them. But I'm just trying to figure out how we can tap into those if we want to. I'm just going to try to figure out which wire is which. That's why I bought the extra wire and the connector so I can try to tap into the wire that goes to the turning signals and then basically run that up to and then tap into the headlight turning signal. Yeah, we're gonna get right to this. I'm gonna get to putting the mirrors on, doing a little bit more looking around, try to figure it out, and then once I try to actually get kind of figured out where everything needs to be wired up, then I will get back to you guys and kind of go through what I did, how I did it, and all the good stuff. So let's get back to um, dismantling some stuff and then I'll get right back when we're getting closer to the finish. <music> If you're looking for factory for tow mirrors, definitely let us know. These are in excellent condition. Nothing wrong with them whatsoever. I mean, just some really, really light marks and scratches maybe on the sides, but other than that, totally great shape.
Well, everybody, I got the mirrors installed on the truck. The first side took about two hours because I was trying to figure out how to wire up the lights and stuff like that, like in the mirrors, the LEDs, and I could not figure it out. I really wanted to have those things on. It's like if you're going to pay for the option, you know, these mirrors, they have the LED lighting inside. I just could not figure out how to get them hooked up. I tried every wire on there except for the ground wire, obviously, and tried to see if I could hook it up to the blinker. You know, the wire running from the blinker was getting power because when I hooked it up to the wrong wire, you know, like you would see it'd be blinking, so it'd be a blinking power. You could see the uh, mirror get adjusting back, like just like, you know what I mean, like stuttering back um, to where it was hooking up, like there's power coming through the wire, like it was working, but I there was just, I tried all the wires and nothing worked for the turning signal light. So I, I don't know what happened, how to make that work. If I absolutely must go back and try to rewire them up at some point, I'll ask my dad to you if he really cares that much. In this case, he might not care that much because our old mirrors didn't have any blinkers, no daytime running lights, like nothing. They were just completely, you know, black anyways as well. Kind of strange, like I could not, could not wire those up. To be honest, we don't really care. Like we're not like, oh my gosh, we don't have turning signals in the mirrors. You know what I mean? Like it's not a huge deal to us. We're not gonna whine over that. I'll talk to my dad, but for the most part, they're in really good shape. The only blemish on this mirror is right there. And that's on the driver's mirror. There's a little chip. Now you have to understand, I'm just getting way close up so you can really see this. But there's a little chip on the driver's mirror. Um, otherwise, they're totally fine. There ain't nothing wrong with them. I'm not sure what he would be asking for those. I would guess 80 bucks at the most, but I don't know. Just hit me up if you guys are interested and uh, we'll try to get that figured out. However, you do have to understand that shipping this kind of stuff, the, my Dodge tow mirrors I shipped out, $35 shipping. So I was like, uh, I mean, whatever. I'm like, I'll, yeah, I'll let them go for this, you know, whatever. And didn't break even, but just about broke even with the mirrors because the shipping cost a fortune. If you guys have any other alternative shipping options or maybe somebody's local, these are the tow mirrors and we are in the Northeast Indiana area. Let me know if you guys are interested. Otherwise, let's get over to the truck here. I'll come back and clean it up in a bit, but just kind of show you that the mirrors do work in terms of power and everything. And not to extend these mirrors out, of course, it's still the old fashioned way. You know what I mean? You just pull them out like so. Push them back in. Easy as that. But, uh, see these switches still work. Go to the left mirror. So here's my view. Uh, right about there is pretty good. And then for this side, switch it over. That's pretty good right there. So yeah, the mirrors, they line up pretty good. So um, no complaints here in terms of, you know, power mirror at least still works, which is the options that we had before, so I'm not too worried about that. I mean, we still have all the options and luxury that we had before in this truck. Only difference is, obviously, I could not figure out how to wire the lights. However, I do have a 14 gauge wire already ran to that mirror, just zip tied down out of the way in case we would eventually want, you know, go and try to figure out how to wire that too. But for now, we just don't have the option. However, if you guys are stopping in for the first time, I would invite you guys to please join the family. Definitely subscribe. Growing every single day, and I would love to have you guys in on that journey. Lots of big stuff coming up. I'm moving very soon. I'm going to be doing a lot of build videos with my grandfather and uh, a lot of stuff like that, and hopefully able to purchase another truck here very soon. And we, my dad may also be purchasing another truck here soon. If you have not yet, please leave a like on the video. Leave your comments below. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And I would like to mention the fact that if there are any mods on either of the trucks, any of the trucks that you see and like, links are always in the description below. For example, these tow mirrors, there is going to be a link in the description for you guys to pick these up for yourself. Thank you so much, guys. All the support helps. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day, but I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright, live a normal life, do a nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.